It feels amazing to be nominated as the European UN FAO Ambassador for the Year of Pulses because I feel it gives me a platform from which I can really shout about the, the benefits of eating pulses. I'm a cook and a writer and I love to eat them. I love to get people excited about recipes, but it's also spreading the word of how fantastic they are for people's health and for that of the planet as well. There are so many benefits of pulses. You know, there's um, food security, how we respond to climate change, there's health, there's a whole question of the, the soil. Um, but my probably two things that I feel most excited about are the fact that pulses give accessible and affordable protein to many people in the world who just can't uh, afford meat or fish or dairy products. And also, I just think the fact that we have this huge genetic um, base with which to develop crops which are really drought resistant and can deal with heat, which is something which in the future, as we're witnessing climate change, is going to be more and more important. I'm a cook, I'm a food writer, I'm a blogger, I'm not a nutritionist or an agronomist, but what I want to do is just give people the information in little sort of digestible bits alongside getting people excited about cooking with pulses. I think that if people really want to eat them and then they find out all the amazing nutritional and sustainability benefits, then it's a win-win all round. My favourite pulse, this is incredibly difficult, but probably the chickpea because it's so incredibly versatile. It's the one I probably use the most for things like hummus or in soups, salads, dal, curries. You know, I could go on and on. And then maybe the other one that I'm always suggesting to novice cooks is lentils. You know, particularly a split lentil cooks in no time at all. You don't need to soak it, which is one of the things that sometimes puts people off even beginning to cook them. Um, and you can make something like a wonderfully nutritious bowl of dal in very little time and using unbelievably cheap ingredients and serve it alongside some bread or rice and you've got a really nutritious meal. One of the things that does sometimes put people off cooking pulses is this idea that they take hours to cook. And my way of doing things is I'll cook up a great big pot of pulses, for instance, at the weekend, and then just dip into them. I'll keep them in the fridge, and during the week, you know, I can make all sorts of different dishes using those pulses, which is cutting down on my time, it's cutting down on expense, and also I love delving into recipes from all sorts of different cultures around the world. So one pot of lentils can take you around the world in five or six dishes during the week.